Or 7062, go ahead. Yeah, is there any active military uh, airspace just like north of Winnipeg? Uh, no, nothing Nothing I'm aware of. You said north of Winnipeg? Yeah. Uh, no, not right now. Okay. Lots of active uh, bright lights in formation, three, and they look like they're at like 500 or something just trying to figure it out. Okay. Yeah. No, I, I haven't heard anything. I'll I'll check out with the next sector if that could be. All right, then. Thanks for checking. And, and you said around uh, around fifty thousand feet, roughly. Is that correct? Yeah, it looks like it. I mean, it's hard to it's hard to say, but yeah, the, yeah, it keeps being like three to four really bright lights, and they kind of were in like a triangle formation, and then it looks like they will dipper for a bit, and then they disappear, and then they come back. Okay. Uh, Okay, thanks for that. I'll, I'll just make a note, but yeah, I, I can't think of what that might be. Okay. One Golf Victor, uh, this is a strange question, but are you seeing any uh, flashing lights ahead uh, at high altitude? We just got a report from another aircraft. Type, uh, we don't see anything yet. Okay, thank you. They reported them as uh, north of Yankee Whiskey Gulf, uh, which is the city off your 11 o'clock position for about 90 miles. So I guess just let me know if you see anything. Copy that. So if we see anything, I will let you know. Okay. Aircraft, uh, 12 o'clock, same altitude. Is that one ours? Uh, it's a flare flight. Sorry, uh, so what's going to say, 600? Yeah, check Canada 786. Uh, you see these lights, 12 o'clock? See something, uh, flashing light, uh, as long as 30, uh, sorry, 600. Yeah, forming triangles, and then flying away and coming back. Big bright light is coming uh, towards us, uh, slowly above us, very successful. Uh, more than 11 o'clock to 12 o'clock, sir. Take my cannon 786. Do you have any traffic out there? Uh, no, I, I had one other report uh, 10 minutes ago from a, a Morningstar flight uh, east of Virginia. Uh, reported the same thing. Uh, her best guess was, was around... Somewhere around flight level five zero zero, and uh, thought it might be somewhere north of, of Winnipeg. Um, so yeah, where, so or do, do you have a guess as to what you might think the altitude is? Hard to tell, uh, just because the evening. I, I'd say she's probably pretty accurate, but they keep forming up in a triangle, so then yeah, it's pretty odd. Okay, yeah, no, that's the second report then, and yeah, there's no, there's no active airspace, military airspace, anything like that we're aware of. Uh, I honestly have no idea what that might be. Oh, good. Morning, sir, 7060 from Tunner. Morning, sir, 7060. Are you still seeing the lights that you reported earlier? We're getting some reports uh, in Saskatchewan behind you now as well. We haven't seen them like for the last five minutes so far. Okay, thank you. No problem. Area 591, it's going to sound like a strange question, but we've had a few reports now of some sort of flashing light somewhere over the prairie, perhaps in a triangle shape. Are you by any chance seeing anything like that? Wow, that does sound interesting. I haven't seen it. I hope I do. Um, so it's at ground level or in the air? Uh, I think it's at quite an altitude. One pilot guessed maybe as high as 500, but um, others closer to Regina are saying they're unable to even give an estimate of where exactly it is. Wow. Okay, well, we'll definitely be keeping an eye out, and we'll let you know. I'm knowing that other people have seen it as well. I thought you might. Yeah, there's a couple of reports, actually. Two aircraft west of Regina are reporting it, but they said they're having a hard time guessing even where it's coming from. Yeah, it is really quite bizarre. And uh, Winnipeg, Canada 328. We saw them uh, before. I think it's just that light with reflection from the sun. It matches uh, the adding of uh, the position of the sun if you look on the uh, different maps. Oh, a scientific explanation. Okay, good. Thank you. That's, that's a wild guess, though. It really looks uh, quite uh, spectacular and, uh, and weird at uh, first glance. Okay, and you saw them back when you were in the Saskatchewan, Manitoba area as well? Yes. Yeah. We saw them uh, start being uh, beam, uh, Winnipeg in for the past, uh, I guess, hour or so. Uh, and it seems to move up as we move uh, toward the east uh, as well. So it might just be a reflection of sun and sunlight. That, that's my guess. Okay, thank you. Morning, sir, 7060. Did you catch that? I did, thank you. 
Six Roger. Uh, I had a company aircraft over Thunder Bay uh, suggest he thinks it possibly could be um, satellites, and just based on the angle of the sun, uh, it could be sunlight re refracting off those satellites and just causing that. I mean, I'm certainly no expert, but uh, they, they're moving side to side and, and they're going away from each other and forming triangles, but it doesn't really seem like they're in any type of orbit. But, I mean, I'm no expert. So it's good. Star 600, from 600 the morning, and are you still seeing those lights that you were reporting earlier? Yeah, it's uh, quite bizarre. There's uh, around six of them uh, just randomly doing the formation flight at high altitude at 12 o'clock, uh, Flight 600. Okay, thanks. Uh, 1036 Center from Flight 600. Go ahead. Just curious, uh, when it comes to those uh, lights that you have multiple aircraft reporting, uh, what report do you guys have to file for that? Uh, usually we just tell the shift manager and then they follow up uh, with whatever reporting they do. Okay. So you're not reporting a UFO then? Report uh, exactly what the pilot said to the shift manager and then uh, and then they'll file it as they do. Roger. Okay, thanks. Definitely not satellites. UPS 104, uh, I just got here for the morning, so I'm just finding out about all the reports, but I guess they've been uh, all the way across uh, the prairies this morning, or overnight. So uh, UPS Flare 600 is tracking uh, eastbound approximately 09 or 05, have been for the last uh, hour. And at our 1130 position, uh, we've been staring at these things for well over an hour, and they're high up in the sky, I'd say 100,000 feet plus. PS-104, uh, that aircraft that's giving you the report is off your uh, 9 o'clock position, about 125 miles going eastbound. And Morningstar 7062, uh, I missed your comment there. Uh, what were you saying about uh, the lights? Definitely not satellites. Okay, thanks very much. I'm just talking to the controllers that I'm taking over from, and, uh, and I guess we'll file a, 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 it's called a service report. Okay, yeah, it's like, I'm, I'm like anything I've ever seen in like the 15 years of night flying that I've done. Okay, thanks very much. Uh, the ship manager just came in, and they have brought over the report that I'm going to fill out, so if, uh, if you don't mind, um, I'm going to go through the questions with you, uh, just because I wasn't here for the bulk of the, the reporting. Yeah, sure. Okay, uh, first question is just a brief description of the sighting, uh, number, size, shape, etc. Multiple single point of light uh, will be the way we would describe this. Um, sometimes there were three, sometimes there were six, sometimes there's uh, just some individual um, lights just flying um, at a random interval. There's no um, specific uh, numbers, so to speak. Uh, so Okay, and uh, the position of the sighted object or activity, I guess, the first time you, you noticed it? Uh, we're flying at uh, level 270, we're flying uh, eastbound on track 095 to 107-ish. And for the most part, we looked at our 12 o'clock or uh, 11 o'clock uh, site, and it was pretty high up in the altitude. We're guessing anywhere between uh, 70,000 Piece all the way to 100. Okay, that answers the next question about uh, estimated altitude uh, and direction of movement of the object. We're random all over the place. Uh, at times, I saw three three lights uh, in a triangle formation, just flying in a random movement, up and down, left, right, all over the place. Okay, uh, the next one is uh, speed. Was it moving fast or slow? Or? Uh, from what we could tell, they're moving at a very fast speed in all directions. Very, very high speed. And the last one is uh, any observed identification or other significant inf information. No, I think that's, uh, that's all that we got. Uh, we, uh, I wish we could give more information, but uh, yeah, that's, that's all. Everything that we just discovered right now is what we uh, witnessed. Uh, first hundred. Okay, no, that's great. I will fill out the form, and I think there were some reports uh, from the, from the controllers that were working overnight there. So that, combined with this report, uh, we'll give that to the shift manager, and then they'll send that off to uh, North Bay. 
Awesome. That's a lot. So it's not good. Thank you. And uh, Winnipeg from Cargo Jet 937. Yeah, go ahead. Going to add to that, I haven't seen them tonight, but uh, we've been seeing those lights for probably the last uh, 18 months or so. Just, just for your information, if you wanted to add that. Okay, I will add that. And uh, any specific area? Was it across the prairies or? Yeah, over the prairies, just like Flair said, always eastbound and uh, a little north of the track, kind of at the 11 o'clock position. It's, it's kind of been in that area for, for quite a while. Okay, thanks very much. I've never seen them eastbound, only westbound. And yeah, same thing too, movements all over. Sometimes they make a triangle, sometimes they make a diamond, and square, they're bright, and they disappear all over. Sure be nice to get answers on that, for sure.